There is perhaps no animal on the planet that shares as close a relationship with mankind than the humble pigeon. It may come as a surprise, but it's only very recently that these birds have become a target of our disgust and hatred. Pigeons are actually one of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. Pigeons are one of only six species and the only non-mammal to pass the mirror test, that is, being able to recognise oneself in a mirror. They're also able to recognise and differentiate between all 26 letters of the English language. Pigeons have also played the role of the war hero in both major world wars. During the First World War, the army had a dedicated pigeon corps that would set up mobile pigeon lofts behind enemy lines. From here, pigeons would often fly through enemy fire and poison gas to relay platoon locations to HQ. During the Second World War, the Pigeon Corps was significantly reduced due to the advancements in telecommunications. Nonetheless, pigeons were often airdropped by parachute into occupied territory so that resistance soldiers could send intelligence about the German movements back to the Allied side. Despite their reduction, the US Army alone had 54,000 carrier pigeons with a 90% delivery success rate. So how is this even possible? Well, the truth is, no one really knows. There are many theories regarding how pigeons can find their way home, even over several hundred miles. A 10-year study carried out by Dr. Tim Guilford from Oxford University concluded that pigeons actually use roads and motorways to navigate, in some cases even changing direction at the motorway junctions. And as Project Pigeon demonstrated, these birds also have great eyesight. Project Pigeon was a US Army-led research project that found pigeons in their heads of missiles. This is no joke. The research, led by American behaviorist and Harvard professor B.F. Skinner, found that in simulations, pigeons were able to process visual information roughly three times faster than humans and were remarkably good at guiding missiles to their targets. Luckily for our feathered friends, computer-based navigation overtook the need for pigeon-guided missiles, and the system was never actually tested outside of the lab. They even became lifesavers at one point. This is naval scientist Dr. Jim Simmons. In the late 1970s and early 80s, he ran a series of experiments known as Project Sea Hunt. In these experiments, he conditioned pigeons to conduct search and rescue missions from the hull of a Coast Guard helicopter in return for food. The helicopter housed three pigeons in small observation bubbles on the underside of the helicopter. The pigeons had an accuracy rate of 86%, whereas the human crew had an accuracy rate closer to 29%. When combined together, the success rate was almost perfect. Another benefit was that, unlike their human counterparts, the pigeons never seemed to get bored. So next time you come across one of these guys, maybe instead of seeing a disease-ridden feral pest, you'll see the war hero, the lifesaver, and the intelligent bird that it really is. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but this map is completely wrong. Next week on The Science of Everything, I give you the most interesting geology lesson you've ever had. That's next week on The Science of Everything.